Hello, my name is Cheryl Seals. I am an Okaloosa County School District Volunteer Coordinator. On behalf of our Superintendent of Schools, I would like to welcome you to our school volunteer orientation. Our schools frequently rely on parent and community volunteers for a variety of help. Our district offers a variety of activities you may choose from when volunteering your time. Our volunteers have deeply enriched in the school experience for all of our youth, enabling us to offer opportunities otherwise that would not benefit our students. We would like to thank you in advance for showing your talents and to support our students, our teachers, and our staff. Please note that for the 2018-2019 school year, the Okaloosa County School District is changing to a new volunteer system called the Raptor. All requests to volunteer, including previously volunteer renewals, you will start a new application process. And for the safety of our students, please note that all volunteers must complete the online volunteer application. The state of Florida put certain policies and guidelines that we as a school district must adhere to in getting our volunteers. The statute states that our volunteers must be of good physical and mental health. You must be of any age, you must go to www.okaloosaschools.com to complete a volunteer application. You must be under the supervision of a staff member and receive orientation as you are now to the school district, school, and or assigned duties. Please contact the school volunteer coordinator at your school for more information on the specifics of an orientation to the school. So the policy further states that volunteers will not establish instructional objectives. You will not administer corporal punishment or determine any type of punishment. You will not assume the responsibility for an entire class. If for some reason the teacher needs to leave out of the classroom, a full paid employee will be with you during your time of volunteer experience and you will not contact parents regarding performance or behavior of students. So what are the responsibilities of the volunteer? The volunteer expresses concern for the student, interest in the student, and acceptance of those for whom the volunteer will be working with. You will be responsible for maintaining a professional attitude of mutual respect and confidence. You should be willing to offer supportive and supplemental services on the professional supervision and direction of a school staff. We ensure that you must be punctual and reliable and to notify the school in case of an absence. We do ask that you become familiar with the school and classroom policies of the school that you will be volunteering with and that you refrain from criticizing any school procedures. You should be capable of adjusting to the teacher or staff member's way of doing things and follow his or her directions. Be willing, if necessary, to have short conferences periodically with the coordinator to just see how things are going along with your volunteer experience. We do have certain policies and procedures in place for what to do in case a student becomes injured or ill. No matter how minor the injury, you should immediately notify the teacher or staff member. Please do not attempt to administer any type of first aid. If a student complains of not feeling well, you should notify the teacher or staff member immediately. You should never administer any form of medicine to the student. Again, we do have policies and procedures in place for when students become injured or ill. Again, we ask that you do not take a class alone. As stated earlier, if the teacher must leave the room, 
arrangements must be made to have a paid staff member present. If someone asks to speak to a student or to take a student, you should direct that individual to the teacher. Under no circumstances should you grant such a request. If a problem arises during your volunteer experience, please consult or discuss it with the volunteer coordinator at the assigned school. As it becomes known that you are working in the school, you may be asked periodically questions or concerns about specific students. If a parent or friend inquires as to the student's progress, you should say simply, I enjoy working with that student. I am not sure if you are able to schedule an appointment with the teacher. However, we can help you make one. The teacher would be very happy to talk with you. The Okaloosa County School District is a drug-free workplace. Volunteers should not have consumed alcoholic beverages or taken illegal drugs when working at a school or a school-related function. All use of tobacco on school property, including buildings, playgrounds, and parking lots is prohibited. During this time of the year, it may become apparent that you become ill. This could include a cold or sore throat or a cough. As much as we would love to have you, please do not come to school if you're ill. Please be certain that you are completely recovered before you return to school. Students learn by example, and we ask that you act as a role model by using good health habits when you are at the school. In continuing with health and safety regulations, please be aware of school playground regulations when you are volunteering. Please make sure that you supervise climate activities carefully and make sure that certain materials need to be watched closely, such as scissors, saws, woodworking tools, and sand because sand can damage the eyes. Pointed objects such as a math compass, cooking utensils, and pans. And please do not allow a student to use a paper cutter or handle hot appliances, utensils, or equipment. The general public has been made aware of blood transmitted diseases. If there is blood on the student, please notify a staff member immediately. Please follow all safety rules of the school in which you are working. If an accident occurs, notify a staff member immediately. And never ever move a child involved in an accident. A member of the school staff will initiate proper procedures for the accident. In your volunteer capacity, there may be certain situations that you may or may not need to be aware of. Please, when you're visiting in the volunteer capacity, we ask that you do not visit with other volunteers. This can be distracting, particularly in a classroom setting. Laughing at the effort of a student when trying to complete a task. It makes him or her reluctant to try again and gives the student a sense of failure. And we never should be talking about a student within his or her hearing distance. If you're being critical, the student's self-esteem and self-image could very easily be damaged. Please again, do not talk with the teacher during class time or other volunteers. Please try to save all questions, comments, or suggestions to a specific time with the school staff or volunteer coordinator. Damaging a student's self-esteem by criticizing him or her, using harsh words can be labeled as negative. Try not to use words such as, you cheated or you lied. Judging a student is oftentimes very damaging. Each student is different and needs every chance to be successful. A student's behavior can clearly reflect how he or she feels about himself or herself. Other situations include scolding a student 
for an incorrect answer. Instead, use a positive twist set. You can review for a few minutes and then help the student to go back and recover any information that may be needed. Pass it on confidential information. When you are participating in the school, you may hear or come across personal facts about a particular student situation or family. Please be aware that this information is considered privileged and should be kept private. So as a volunteer, you are a valuable member of the educational team. The greatest things that we can ask of our volunteers is for them to be dedicated and committed to the role they are serving as in the volunteer capacity. Remember, as a volunteer, you become a role model to many of our students. So what are your successful characteristics? We ask that you be well-groomed and dress appropriately. We ask that you dress in clothes that promote a safe and respectful learning environment. You are to sign in and sign out at the school check-in station and wear a name tag for identification purposes. Your name tag must be visibly displayed on your clothing. We ask that you be able to be flexible, take directions from the teacher or staff, be dependable, and be on time. And again, if you're going to be absent, please know the father's school. And again, keep all, all information confidential. Information should remain confidential unless it is potentially harmful to the student or someone else. As a volunteer, we ask that you do not bring younger children when you're volunteering on campus, school activities, or field trips, and that you do not share your religious beliefs or political views with our students. Listening to students is one of the most important things you can do for the student. It helps to teach them the most basic needs that they need. Remember, be on the same level as the student. Be down so that you can look directly into the student's eyes. This way the student knows that you are giving them their undivided attention. And with this, our students are able to gain valuable skills to help them become successful students. Some of those valuable skills include they learn to pay attention. They have a desire to learn. They learn to ask questions and advocate for themselves when they do not understand. They are now able to verbally express themselves and hold regular positive conversations with their peers and adults. Our students learn how to plan a task and follow it through with completion. They learn to problem solve and develop good self images. They also learn how to get along with their peers their own age. And lastly, they learn to wait for something that they want. All valuable skills that make our students lifelong successful learners. When speaking to the students, we ask that you use a tone which will encourage and make them feel comfortable. So an interest in what they say and avoid comparing one student to another as well as comparing their work with each other. Give the students a choice only when you as a volunteer intend to abide by their choice. And always state directions in a positive tone. Use the blocks for building rather than don't throw the box. At times, you may be asked to help a student who needs some individual attention, such as maybe tutoring that student. A student who has been absent or who's having particular instances with a problem will benefit greatly from your volunteer help. So lastly, our goal should be for the success of all students in the capacity in which you are volunteering as well as for your volunteer experience to be successful. So, where do we need volunteers? All over our schools, in the classrooms, such as a guest speaker, clerical, helping out with organizing materials and running off papers, 
Extracurricular activities are music programs, are sports programs. In the media center, checking in books, checking out books, logging books, assisting with the book fair. In the guidance department, tutoring, as well as PTO and school advisory councils. All of these are areas. Please contact the school that you're interested in to see which volunteer problem area that you are able to assist with. So now, what are the next steps? You will need to go to www.opelousaschools.com to complete the online volunteer application. Once you go to the school district website, look for the part that says departments and click on where it says community affairs. Once on the community affairs page, go down and click on the blue link that says volunteers. Once on this page, in the middle of the page, click on the sentence that has the link for the online volunteer application. Your page will look a little like this. It is very important for the information that you include be correct. After you have clicked on the online link for the volunteer application, your page will look like this. So we ask that you do completely follow all directions. Please select all the schools at which you are to volunteer. That way, if you have students at a middle school and a high school and an elementary school, you can complete one application without going back and doing a separate application for each school. Now, please select the function from the list for the capacity in which you would like to volunteer. Coaching, which requires fingerprints. Overnight chaperone, which requires fingerprints. Mentor, chaperone, and a classroom school volunteer. Please note that coaching, overnight chaperone, and mentoring requires fingerprints. Next, you will select the organization on behalf of which you are volunteering. Some organizations include our bases, Take Stock in Children, the Boys and Girls Club, Big Sisters and Big Brothers, or select none if none of the ones fit your capability there. The last step is to sign the disclaimer and submit your application. Once the online application is complete, an email confirmation and instructions on what to do next is sent to the applicant. Again, please follow all instructions carefully. And note that in Florida Department of Law Enforcement, sexual predator offender background check will be performed on all volunteers before you begin your volunteer service. And again, I must stress that mentors, volunteer coaches, and overnight chaperones will be fingerprinted in accordance with school district board policy. So now you've been approved to volunteer. You may now report to your school. Volunteers enter the school will be required to check in and check out through the Raptors technology system. You will get your badge, and again, remember that the visible name tag must be visible on the articles of clothing. If you're volunteering before school or after school, you will have an MIS 1326 form that you may utilize. This form should be completed with the school staff member on which you're volunteering. Best practice is to turn these forms in bi-weekly to the staff member that you are assigned to. If you still have further questions, please contact the school volunteer coordinator at the school in which you are volunteering and Mr. Eric Mitchell, who is our volunteer application program director. So it is with gratitude that we thank you for your time and attendance. It is greatly appreciated. You are valued members of the Okaloosa County School District. We're grateful for all of the work for our volunteers to help make Okaloosa the number one school district in the state of Florida. 
thank you for contributing and enriching our school community. Thank you.